72 hours removed from the deadliest and the worst anti-Semitic attack on the Jewish community in the United States ever. It is unconscionable to think that right after this attack, these anti-gay lawn signs have popped up all over the 1st Congressional District in Suffolk County. We are asking Lee Zeldin to come out immediately and denounce these anti-gay lawn signs and to instruct his campaign staff to cease putting, making any more of these signs, putting them up anywhere in the 1st Congressional District, and we are asking him to order his staff to take down every single one of these signs that they put up uh, throughout the 1st Congressional District in Suffolk County. We are also asking Suffolk County District Attorney Tim Seney and Suffolk County Police Commissioner Geraldine Hart to launch an investigation into what we think is a hate crime that has been committed in Suffolk County with these anti-gay lawn signs being posted everywhere. You know, today we have to be, we have to take a lot more precautions to protect um, our families and our places of worship and our community centers. Unfortunately, you know, people are saying this is the new norm. We can make, we need to make sure this is not the new norm. But until we get to that point where we tackle this hate and we change the course of our nation, we are asking the Suffolk County Police Department to increase patrols at all of LGBT Network's community centers in Bayshore, in Sag Harbor, and in Woodbury. We must make sure that we protect all of our families. And lastly, you know, there has been a message out there that we need to tone down the rhetoric. What we need to do is stop the rhetoric altogether. A toned down rhetoric does not make things any better. Hate is hate. Hate will always be hate, whether it's said loudly or whether it's said, uh, said a little lighter. Um, what we need to do is take all this anger and fear that we have that has been imposed on us by President Trump's rhetoric and his policies and his attempts to uh, take away rights from transgender Americans, from immigrants, um, from women. And we need to turn that into a powerful voice next week uh, where we change the course of our nation, where we say no to hate, we stop hate altogether, and we start to create a country once again that will, make, that will be safe for all Americans, no matter how you love, no matter how you pray, and no matter how you look. Thank you.